I'm Sue Adcock, I'm a 2 plus 2 student and I did a vlog at the end of my two years at college and I've just started at university, so I'm halfway through this term and um, the transition's been good actually, it's, I think it's well worth trying to get over to the university as often as you can in your first two years so they get used to the site, where things are, who people are as well. When you're in college you have very timetabled um, lectures, seminars, and here it is timetable, but it might just be over two days or maybe three days, you might just be in for an hour. And so family tends to think, oh, you're around, um, so you're available. And actually you're not, because you do have to timetable in study at home. So I do come in and use the library and I use the learning grids in University House and um, Roots in the library as well. So they're very useful places. And University House is very quiet because it's, it's in between the two campuses. So if you're at one place in the morning and then um, on Westwood in the afternoon or something, you can pop into there. I was a bit concerned when I, when I thought, well, I'm not going to see anybody, any of my friends. I'm in seminars with two of them. Um, I'm in lectures with a couple of them. So it's sort of, you do see people. And also being an ambassador, when you walk in, I've not walked into a class. I'm not known somebody. And I think one of my favourites is a, an IATL module, and that's students from across the university, so covering multi-disciplines and all ages. And that's, that's really interesting. That's great. I also talked about becoming a grandmother, I think, before. And, um, yes, I have a grandson, uh, Teddy, or Theodore, and he's four months old now, and uh, just becoming interesting. As in, you know, oh, that's a book. Yes, sort of looking at the pictures as you read him a story. He likes to push his trucks along. I look after him a couple of afternoons a week. I'm carrying on with social studies and I'm majoring in CLL um, with particular interest in education um, because that's where I want to go on to teach post-16. I do miss the health and social policy, oddly, and I may take a module next year just to sort of get myself back into that because it's interesting. I'm doing um, a teaching assessment and learning module and so this evening I'm going out to observe a teacher teach post-16 um, and uh, for an assessment. So that's looking at how the teacher teaches, what um, tools they use and also what theorists fit into that style and method of teaching. I'm also doing the coaching module which is a different way of looking at it but you come across similar theorists for that but that's more about the listening and finding out what people really want uh, which I think is a useful skill to have when you're teaching post-16 because um, after all what do people want? What do they want to learn and how do they want to learn it? We're doing research as well um, which is going to lead into dissertation and prepare us for our dissertation for the final year. Obviously, health and social policy, you don't have to write a dissertation at the end of it. I'm thinking perhaps I should have chosen that one. Level of work, I would say, is probably about the same, but it is more self-directed. There is far more of, here's your topic area, go and read around it, read what interests you about this. And then you come together and everybody's got, found something different, something different will have interested people, and so therefore you double your learning, if not quadruple it. But it is a slightly different way of working, and that, I think, can take a couple of weeks to sort of get find your feet. So pressure of work is about the same as we had at North Warwickshire and Hinkley, so I think they prepared as well. I don't think of myself as being a mature student, I'm a student, just the same as anybody else here, and I'm here to learn, and if I know something they don't, they're interested, just as they'll know things I don't. Um, so it's, it's an equal par partnership. It's interesting, it makes the um, experience much richer for that interaction. And in fact, I walk in, they generally think the tutor's arrived. <laughs> and then I sit down, they say, oh, you're not the tutor, no. <laughs> and so we all have a laugh. But it's, yes, it's, uh, and then they want to know why I'm here and, and what's brought me back into learning. And you can see they're, they're, they're thinking, Oh, I think one of my parents could do this. And so you get them thinking about, you know, their parents or an uncle or aunt who's, who said, oh, you must take this opportunity, you must do this. I never had that opportunity. 
and then they realised that perhaps the opportunity could be there. I mentioned before that I'm an ambassador both for CLL and university, which is Warwick Welcome Service. Being a mature student, you appeal to both because the student wants to know what it's like to be a student and the parents want your opinion of what, you know, so how is their child going to be looked after here. I'm obviously going out to um, festivals and I've done a bit of work in the office as well, phoning people up. And um, and we did some open open door July, and that was good fun. Seeing prospective CLL students coming in and having a chat with them. If you want um, an opportunity to learn, then this is a great place to do it.